Yo, what's up, guys? This is my first episode of my CFW tutorials, and I just got my new 3.55. As you can see, like, I haven't got anything, and I'll just show you my firmware 3.55. Um, yeah, so in this episode, I'm going to be showing you, like, the first steps you need to do when you first get your 3.55. So, alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to basically show you how to change firmwares, and you have to toggle QA or QA toggle, it doesn't matter what you call it. So first, you're going to want to download this folder, CFW Tutorial 1, it's going to have the custom firmware KMU 3.55 and the toggle QA peak KG. So plug in your USB, and then you're going to want to drag toggle QA right onto the root of the USB. And then you want to click into the KMU 3.55 folder and drag over the PS3 folder right on the root. And then once that's done, we go back to the PS3. Oh yeah, one more thing. You always, always want to safely eject USB. Um, if you just pull it right out of your computer, you could corrupt a file or corrupt the update and just break your whole PlayStation. So you don't really want to do that. So you just want to right click on it and say safely eject. And then you're good to pull it out. All right, so now that we're at your PS3, you want to plug in your USB into the right slot of your PS3. Uh, if you have a fat PS3, just plug it into the furthest to the right USB port, and you should be fine. Before you downgrade or change firmware, make sure there's no disk in your PlayStation. And then you want to go down to settings, the network settings, and make sure internet connection settings is disabled. And then go up to system update, and then update via storage media. And it should say 3.55k meow. You just want to cr cross over. Keep crossing over, accept, and then click OK. And then I'm just going to speed it up from here. All right, so after the update, your PSC will shut off. You can just turn it back on when it's fully shut down. Um, it'll boot up normally, but what you'll have new is the, these folders right here that allows you to install package files and allows you to play like downloaded games from PSG underscore game folder. So I'm just gonna show you that you're still on 3.55. And right now you just wanna go to network settings and just enable your internet connection settings and then on the rear USB you already copied the toggle QA so what this basically does is it allows you to downgrade easier so say you're on like rebug 4.60 you can just like change firmwares to a higher firmware without going back to 3.55 so you're just gonna run run that And then once you start this, uh, it'll be a black screen. I'll probably lose you guys, but, and then you can hear a couple beeps. It's perfectly normal. So I'm just gonna run it. All right, so yeah, that didn't take long at all. So now you wanna go over to network settings and in network settings, or you don't need to go into it. You just gotta hover over it. And then you're gonna to want to hold L1, L2, L3, R1, R2, and D-pad down. Uh, those controls will be in the description with the download. And then you'll get these install package files and debug settings and this Eddy viewer. So in debug settings, you can basically just do a bunch of stuff like fake 
fake plus, PlayStation plus, fake space, can do a bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe.